I'm Rebecca. And I'm Hunter. And this is the Family Showdown! Hello. Hey, greetings and salutations. I feel like you're a little farther away. I wonder what that is. I knew you'd drop a hint. I, I wanted them to figure out. I, want, I wanted them to I figure out. I didn't say anything. I wanted them to figure out. I didn't say out. anything. Oh, okay. I didn't say anything. <laughs> you said it. You said, oh, what's up? All right, folks. Love your art, neutral. It is our, <laughs> it is our Tuesday night variety show. It is Tuesday night. What do you know? And we're going to do a variety of things. We are going to do a variety of things. <laughs> How's everybody tonight? Hope you're all doing well. I see. Oh, Corlew. Yes. Um, we actually, it was a snow day for our school district. So we get good Friday off, even repeat, though we had right? a, huh? You need to repeat the question. Is oh, it? she said something about getting Friday off. Yeah. Um, and, and Cause everyone has chat up. So oh, oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. So everybody. Yeah. So, so Corlew was mentioning about good Friday and we actually have good Friday off because even though we had a nice apocalypse here, our school district was kind to us and realized that we're all burnt out and dying. <laughs> So they're like, you can still have that, right? But now. as Zara says, I do not have yeah, that. Yeah, I was gonna say off. some people work. All right. We're like split. We're split. <laughs> All righty, folks. So uh before we jump into our regular shenanigans, I got a couple announcements. Ooh. A couple announcements. Excellent. Excellent. We've got a uh contest going on. We do. A logo contest Ooh. where you guys can create us a logo that isn't a family picture from seven years ago. And if you send it to, I'll give me one second, I'll pull up the email address. One, one moment. I have a wireless keyboard and mouse coming. That's good. Ooh, so there is the email address for the contest. So create us a wonderful, beautiful logo. Send it to that email address. If you're selected as the winning logo, it'll become our logo, the logo. And we'll give you a $100 gift certificate to someplace. We'll work it out. Amazon, local game store, something. Barnes & Noble, whatever, whatever, whatever floats your boat. So that's first first order of business. Let me get that email address off. <laughs> and uh, secondly, uh, we are going to jump into the review world. We're going to start doing reviews woo potentially. Woo. We're going to give woo it a woo. shot. Woo. Woo. Over on our our board game geek guild and Smokies join the party. Oh my goodness! Is he in the camera? He is. Just <laughs> I knew this would happen someday. Oh my no. goodness. This is awesome. I'm just let, let it happen. Let it happen. Let, let it happen. Let it happen. He's about to take out the camera. Oh, get Smokey. You need to get him. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So we got to figure out a way to prevent that from happening. Uh huh. What'd you think? Was that interesting? Was that ex <laughs> <laughs> Smokey, what has gotten into you? Why don't you take you? a moment and go get the cat? I, I will. Um, um, pardon me a moment. So we're going to start doing reviews, and, and the cat's going to be part of the reviews, apparently. Mr. Kitty. Over on our Board Game Geek Guild, this is chaos. This is awesome. Over on our Board Game Geek Guild, the link is down in the description of this video. We're doing a poll for our first review. And it lasts, the poll ends tomorrow, our time, tomorrow at midnight. Um, Arnak's winning, so if you don't like Lost Runes of Arnak, you don't want to see that review, then go vote for something else. Or vote for that and make it even more of a, a lead that it has. But it's currently leading, it's currently leading, leading the race for our first review. <laughs> there is the cat is exploring the new space oh, goodness. so i apologize okay my mic's back on so yeah if it's not the dog it's the cat apparently that's cool that's oh cool. so neutral cool. said it looks like that we're on the same team since we're sitting next to each other we that's, don't play co-ops yeah we don't exactly well, i don't play co-ops exactly him. we don't play co-ops i don't play co-ops with him i'll play co-ops with him All right. you guys so there you go so there is the business at hand <laughs> contest first review go vote and send us a wonderful logo. All right. <laughs> I can't wait. I'm excited. Vote early, <laughs> vote often, yes. All right. So, our first order of business is, where is it? I, got I should, I should have these buttons memorized by I now. I got a new notebook. Pretty exciting. Where's the button? Ooh, it's sparkly. Here it's we spicy. go. Bam. Bam. <laughs> All right. What so, did we play? What did we play indeed? So we played we six. Play? We played six games since last we spoke. <laughs> oh Lord. I've been busy uh, building a new game room, which we'll show off in a video at some point. Um, so it's completely redone. Everything's redone. <laughs> we have a cat 
walk across our table, apparently. Yeah. All right. So six games. Um, two of those games, two of those games we played live with you guys. So um, you already know about those, but we're still going to go over them. So we always go from worst to best. You did not make this worse. This I, is one of the best. I did make it worse. Oh. I, did, I still rated a seven, so I like it, but there's not much game there, in my opinion. Okay. And it is a, a bag. <laughs> Hobbit Love Letter. So we played this one live during our equipment testing. It was oh, so if fun. the audio is, is messed up, let us know, please. Always, I th yes. I think I tested it before we went on, and it sounded great. So you may hear, hear some some environmental noises because our mics aren't the best. We're probably going to get some better mics. These are the mics that came with our wireless system, and they're just kind they're of generic. Old. Yeah. Anyway, Hobbit Love Letter. Um, we played this live, like I said, during the equipment testing. It's it's all right. It's I think it plays better with more too. It's kind of a, a chaos fest, which is fun. It's fun. It's, it was it was great fun, great chaos. And I destroyed Rebecca no, you didn't. in our live play. It was close. No, it wasn't. I was winning like seven to nothing or six to nothing. Yeah, but then I caught up, and then it was, I was only two point behind. I was so what do you think? Like, Larry can likes this game a lot more than I, I do. I love this one. I this is my favorite love letter version, and I love the little gems and stuff in it. It's a blast. So. There you go. End of story. The best love letter is the Hobbit love letter. All right. So that's my number six. I gave it a seven. Fuck Frodo! Let's, right let's move oh. on to my number five. Um, we played this with Nessa, the, the, the mysterious, rarely seen Nessa. <laughs> um, I give this a seven as well, but it's close to an eight. It's close to an eight. It's almost there. Draftosaurus. I love this You want to talk about this game? Yes. This is a cute and very quick little game with adorable little dinosaur, dino meeples. And um, you have a little drafting board, and you roll a dice to get to put them in. A, it, they give you some restricted areas, some limited areas where you're supposed to put them, and you draft them, and it's kind of a like a bag drafting. And it's just a great in uh, like I would say it's a good welcoming game for drafting. Um, it's family fun friendly. Kids play it, adults play it, everybody loves it. I I would play this over and over and over and over. It's got two different boards to mix it up a little bit. The dinosaurs are adorable. Show them the dinosaurs. So, the dinosaurs. so, before I jump into the dinosaurs, so someone during our live play of Arnak said, hey, you need one of those fancy green screen things. And so I went to work and I reverse engineered because I had no clue how they did it, but I reverse engineered it. And now we have the magic of a green screen. Do, 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 do. Look at the cute little dino. So, and you have Take a T-Rex, Re Rebecca. Ah! 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 Oh, off the screen. Ah! Ah! Which way? Ah! There you go. Okay. <laughs> Enough of that nonsense. <laughs> but now you get to see the pieces. Woo! And if you go, BGG has this great little upgrade kit, and you can get the cute little bag. We got the cute little bag because the um, texture of these bags sometimes drives Hunter crazy, and it's cute. So why wouldn't you get this, right? There you go. It's a fun little Draft drafting game. Definitely family weight. Um, it's fun. We realized we've been playing a rule yeah. wrong the entire time, which is kind of cool. It was a good. It was a good screw up, actually, for once in our favor. <laughs> All right. So there is a Draftosaurus. Um, it's a good one. Like I said, it's a, it's a little family uh, welcoming game, as she said, mm -hmm. that teaches you dra drafting, which is cool. There you are, Draftosaurus. All right. So move on to my number four. This one gets a seven as well, but it could go up because we played it on super easy mode and I felt it was way too easy. I gave a seven rating to a co-op. When did you play this? Oh, that's not their game. I picked the wrong game. I was like, I didn't play this with you. I grabbed the wrong game. It was right next to it. Are you trying to tell everyone something? Boom, baby. Oh, okay. That makes more sense. So we played Horrified, me, <laughs> Rebecca, and the even more mysterious Caitlin. Um, uh, <laughs> we played Horrified. Games. I got this mainly for the girls. Uh, Caitlin loves the Universal Picture Monster guys. And, oh, I do too. And, Classic. Uh, Grew up with them. Uh, we played fun. this one on super like mega easy mode. We're definitely and we destroyed it. it. Yep. It was like too easy. Yep. So that's why it gets a seven. I think we're, we're going to play it again, and we're going to play it a little bit harder. We'll probably jump. We might skip a level and go to the not the level above, but the level above. Oh yeah, that. we're all pro, man. We're all pro. And uh, sure. try it out, and it has the potential for an eight. I like how it plays. It's really smooth. It's easy to play. Um, the, and it's fun. It's fun working together on this one, right? It's actually yeah. a really fun co-op. Um, I don't know. I just I like that the monsters have unique ways of of defeating them too. So it's kind of like pandemic, but each time you might get a different mix of right. things to attack and how to get them. Right. So it's pretty fun. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it quite a bit for yep. a co-op. So for a co-op, no, it's, it's good. <laughs> it's a good one. No, if it's you, fun. If you it's really love co-op games and you're looking for a light, welcoming, yeah. family weight co-op game, this is a good one. It is fantastic. All right, let's get out of here. 
Woo woo, bye, horrifying. All right, let's move on to my number three, my number three game. This gets an eight. We played this one live on our last variety show. <laughs> it was Rebecca with the internet trying just one. Ta-da! So, so just one. That's a fun. This is a this is a fun little party game. Uh, I enjoy it. It's a kind of a conversation driver, I guess, because it um, or a laughter driver. <laughs> yeah, it's a good one. It plays super fast. It's very interactive, very entertaining. Um, it worked fairly well on the internet. I think I'd trick up how we played it a little bit next time if we played it again next time. But yep. it worked okay. Yep. Um, what do you think? Oh, yeah. I, I love this one. I think it's fun. It's hilarious. The um, shenanigans that can come from it, especially as you play. And the more, it's another one of those, the more the merrier game, right? Because if you're all kind of on the same wavelength, you'll end up knocking each other's clues out. And then it gets even crazier because right. the poor guests are stuck with just one clue. <laughs> Art. Not just one word, Art, yeah. just one clue. Just one clue yeah. So yeah, it's I, I love it. I think it's a blast. Um, it's a fun one. This is definitely a, a good one. Um, and this one can gamers, non-gamers, anyone can play this one. I want to take this and play it with my students. I think this one would be a hoot. This so. has a, a cl kind of a classic feel to it. Yeah, but, it does. It's, so this is a good. Keeper. And this would work in your teaching situation because you use vocabulary words. You could use all sorts oh, of yeah. a, a different things. Right? Absolutely. And, uh, Absolutely. You make your own little cards up. And yeah, for go, your teacher go. peeps. You can do this for any subject, too, really. Right. I mean, that would be easy to tweak, and I, I think it would be a lot of fun. There you go. Something to think about. Just one. Mm. All right, let's move on to my number two. We only got one game played for our Feldfest. <laughs> so much for the fest part. <laughs> well, the Feldfest became this. Yeah, it became this, this big, was, giant This was project. the Feldfest. <laughs> well, you know what's funny is they're probably not looking at anything that looks that different. Right. Yet. We shall see. Yeah. You'll understand why in a minute. But Feldfest continues with Aquasphere. This one, this one's got, this one's got. I think in it my, grew a little. In my opinion, it's, it's got un, uh, undeserved hate from a lot of Feld, Feld, Feld fanatics. I feel added, including ourselves. <laughs> uh, I, I think we both punished it her a lot more than me because I think it was um, probably on the heavy end of when we what, first got it. Yep. When we first got it, way yep. back when. When yep. did this come out? Because we got it when it came out. 2014. So yeah, this oh, was yeah. this was probably too much for us back then, maybe. And so now <laughs> we played it and like, oh, this isn't bad at all. I taught it really quick and we played it and it went smoothly. I actually enjoyed it. It's moved up. Right. It moved up a couple of rungs on the felled ladder for right. me. Right. Absolutely. It's so a good one. And you can find this one dirt cheap. This one, uh, people are like trying to throw throw them out their doors. It's yeah, a, it's funny. Um, I think part of it is the theme's kind of weird, and it does seem a little fidgety. Right. In a way. So I can see where people might be turned off by it, but it's got a lot of depth to it. So if you like the deeper, busier, more complicated felds, I think you might want to give it a go. Oh, and good evening, Dennis. This one this one it. reminds me a little of Bonfire, how it's got all these interactive yes. pieces, all these different things that go on that, you have to that think work about together. Consequences, yeah. you have to think about long term. Yeah, absolutely. It's a good one. I liked it. They are little octopi. Um, they're little they're critters cute. you have to kill. Yeah, they're little they critters. They invade your, your underwater station. They, they're they curious, and they come in. I would like to know how, because I would think this would be sealed Obviously off for you to drown. Because the yeah, there's vents underwater. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Mm? The water supply know. that comes into the thing, they desalinate it. Desalinate. They went through the desalination? Yeah. Yeah. It's somehow, I don't know. It, it's I got a nothing. weird theme, okay? And somehow these very smart little octopi are getting in. It's it's kind of creepy. Don't think about it too much. Um, but you end up killing them and getting rid of them. I'm I like I prefer to think you shoot them out the window. Cause they're octopi. They're cute. Look at the look at him. Isn't he cute? I they're think just you curious. stomp them with your 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 underwater heavy those big heavy boots they used to wear back in the day to, to weight you down. He's just smash. Look around. He's just curious. Smash, 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 okay. Smash. Oops. Sorry about that with the mic bump. I'm still getting used to having I'm going to drive here. these people crazy with my new toy. I know. You're going to be like, show off all the bits. <laughs> my new toy. Oh, man. Is it? Is it there? Is it there? I have to wait. I'm watching the other screen, so there's a delay. Where's the little octopus? There he is. He's so little. Isn't he cute? <laughs> He's so cute. Silly, silly green screen. Anyway. <laughs> all right, Nick. Just keep that pressure up. <laughs> all right. Here we go. Let's get this out of here. And, oop, box Vacuum box. them up. <laughs> My number one game is a game we played live. We played it live uh, Saturday afternoon, our time, and uh, it gets a nine. It's right on the edge of a ten. 
Oh I my gosh. I can't quite give it a 10. It just What? But it's close. Oh really man. Really close. Lost Ruins of Arnak. Lost Ruins of Arnak. This is an awesome game. No, no two, two. No two twos. I don't know. Ballerinas. I don't know why I was going to say. I didn't see any ballerinas in that. No two, no two. No two games are alike. I don't know. I love it. It's a good one. It's this one combines uh, worker placement with uh, uh, deck building and card card driven worker placement at that. So you mm -hmm. basically pay for your worker placement spots with cards. But those cards also have multi-use. So they give you abilities and resources. So you have to decide what you use them for. So it's got all these cool mechanisms going on in it. Um, it's one of the two games that came out uh, last year that used very similar mechanisms. Oh and that's and uh, I, Dune Imperium. I don't know where it is. Dune somewhere. Imperium. Our board games are very mixed up right now. Somewhere is Dune Imperium. It's, <laughs> it has the same worker placement that's card-driven. but The cards are also used for actions and resources. So you have to decide what you want to use them for. So it's got all of these cool interwoven mechanisms that work really well together. This is a good one. Um, it is. This may end up being a 10 if I play it some more. But this is likely our first review. Um, so we played it live and we're probably going to play it one more time. And it's then we're, ruins. And then he does say runes. Ruins. It's ruins. He says ruins. Ruins. It's fun. Um, so this is a good one. I love it. It's a great game. It, it, it lived up to the hype. It's still getting hype. Um, hype, hype, hype. I, I suspect there'll be expansions coming out soon to ride the hype wave. So, <laughs> love Cor it. Corlew was disappointed we didn't play the Indiana Jones music. I would have, except we probably would have been dinged by YouTube 20,000 times over. Oh, we could just demonetize it and play whatever we want. <laughs> no, you'll get copyright. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, I was gonna say they'd be all over us. Are you kidding? But yeah, I would totally do that. I need to be good enough at music to do like the parody kind of version where you put yeah, it like a good, minor key and change it up a little. Yeah, and... you'd have to change it up. Or just yeah, I'm, I'm not that good. <laughs> Love this game. It's a great one. It plays really, consider, considered how much is going on and how much you're accomplished and how much you're doing, it plays pretty fast. I know our play was two hours, but we did a teach and we did a lot of yakking and talking and um, eating cookies and being casual about our play. So Well, and it was just... Um... I think we commented on before too, you, it's, there's times when you just stop and think about it because we figured out the first time we played it, how much it ramps up, really ramps up, like really ramps up. So um, sometimes you stop and think, okay, if I set this up right, everything could explode. Everything's going to eventually, but if you plan it, it does a really good job and then you end up going up that ladder with all the victory points, right? right. And so we... I know I was taking a little bit longer than usual because the first time we played it, I didn't really think about that part of it. And as we saw how the game ramped up this last time, I was like, I'm going to try to do a little better with that. It was it was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed that. So the tablet someone commented, is, everything's so green. Green's my favorite color, so you're going to have, the, that's just the way it works. I, I love green. <laughs> so we have green table, green chairs, green shirt, green box. And I like green. I don't mind green. Um, There you are. Green. Corley asked if there's any games with yaks. The only thing that popped in my head, isn't there a... Uh, didn't one of the side guys have a yak? Or am I crazy? As his pet. That's the only yak I could think of. Maybe? I don't remember. Am I, am I, I think crazy? so. I think you may be right. Man, a yak. All right. Now, I say alpacas and other similar kinds of... Well, no, no, not really similar. I'm trying to think of what... Hmm. I can't think of any. That's the only one I think of. I could have swore there's one of the characters with a yak. But I'm crazy. Like I might be crazy. Not yaks. I yeah, might uh, be no? crazy. No? I can't think of any. I'm sure there are somewhere. If not, someone make a game with a yak. All right. <laughs> Let's move on. Let's move on to the next part of the show, because that's it. That's the six games we played. And again, we played that live, so if you want to go back and watch it, feel free. <laughs> there, there were cookies. There were cookies. All right, here we, we go. Got cookies. It's time for... Do your thing. It's all you. No pressure. <laughs> okay, before I oh, start. Muskox. Muskox. <laughs> Boom. Roger. Thank you. I thought, Man, it, was, I thought it was. Not yet. bad. Not bad. Not bad memory though. Um, still waiting for your cookie, Corlew. Um, oh boy, she's gonna have to make another batch then. <laughs> Random review. Random. How about to pull a game off the shelf? That's kind of how that works. Or do you want them to pick? Oh, I have an 
haven't had you guys pick in a while. Nick put 7G. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see. A, B, C, D, E, F. We only have we only have that many shelves. We only have five shelves. Oh, sorry. So G would go back again. So back here. Okay, G. And okay, and seven. seven. We'll one, go. two, three, four, five, six. Oh, it's that corner. All right, pick a number between one and four, peeps. Inclusive. One and four. One through four. One through four. One through four. Which one is it? The corner, top this, corner. This one? This nope, one? that one. One through four. One through four. Three. Ooh, we haven't played this in a while. I want to play it again soon. You picked a very good game, Gardner. It is Empires of the North. Oh, man. Imperial Settlers, once upon a time, was a game. It was a game. It's still a game. I and think. now it has been... Yeah, it does not exist anymore. It what? has been erased out of my memory and replaced with this beauty. This beauty. No, I actually really love Imperial Settlers, but this is like the next stage. This takes it and... I don't know what it is about this one. It's got so much more oomph to it, I think. A little bit more of a gamery a game. More, if that's... Yeah, gamery. That makes it sound like it's smelly, like gamey. Is it gamey? Gamery. A gamery, gamey? Kind of, not so much. But in this one, you've got some new clans. Instead of, like, races and stuff, you've got these little cutesy clans. They all have unique abilities. And this one plays about the same weights and time. Where's the time? Do, 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 do. 45 to 90 minutes. Yeah. And this, did Imperial Settlers have a solo play? Uh, not sure. Not sure. But That's this one has a solo play, for sure. Um, I... This plays very similarly to Imperial Settlers with a few little extra oomphs to it. And it's still got the ever debatable here. This is the one. This the is the controversial Apple or piece. tomato? Is this an apple or is this a tomato? We need to set up a poll for that. Hey, do you know how to do polls yet? No. Oh, darn. Okay. Because that's that should be our first poll. I need, I need to get a little lamp light for this. It makes yeah. it, everything looks a little dark. It looks a little dark. Okay. Is that a tomato? Or is that an apple? What do you guys think? I want to hear the votes, okay? I want to hear votes. But see, so you've got fish, you've got all these different things, and you get to build up your stuff again. Um, you've got, oh my gosh, the art. Show them the art. The art's stinking cute. Oh my gosh, we're gonna kill, they're gonna, they're gonna be tired of that green screen. I don't before. care. It's our first day, we gotta crack into it. Oh I, I won't do this all the time, I promise. Pomegranate, oh Nick, you like to be, you're trying to be all edgy. <laughs> Toe apple? Ew. That sounds gross. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, it's cute little art. But it, I know it's an apple. It's got, it it's like got a, 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 a cute, a cute, a nice, a interesting uh, action selecting mechanism. It's like a little circle thing. It and, is so And you're moving cute. your little a, a token around. Yeah. And you can only do actions adjacent, and there's ways to mitigate that and stuff. Of it's, course. And it's, but it's, it just seems like you have more choices and more things that you're doing with the same cool Imperial Settlers universe, right? Yeah, you're going out and you're doing ships. It fixed some of the problems I had with Imperial Settlers. I didn't like that you couldn't carry over resources. That one drove uh, me nuts, too. This one you can carry over resources. It's so much um, nicer. It's just it's kind like, of a little more user-player user friendly. And well, and there's more to it because I felt like after a while Imperial Settlers kind of gets that samey feel to it. This game doesn't feel feel like that it feels like it kind of builds up a little bit it feels like they're doing a little bit more with that i don't know it is very very fun i if you liked imperial settlers like i did um you will love empires of the north so give it a shot i know that tomatoes are a new world fruit nick there's no I know. there's no it's, there's it's no, not about that there's no egypt it's about they're, they're the clans shape. now they're not they're not yeah they're not they're not races or anything like that it's all just cutesy little um different types of clans different types of clans they're really you got dwarves and vikings and little looks like um inuit kind of people and just cute but they're all cutesy cartoonified and stuff so now it's time for <laughs> i gotta push buttons oh no here we go where is it? <laughs> there we go. All right, back of the box. Let's take a look. Um, I can see flaws already with this back of the box. It's no. It's, it's eye catching. I'll admit that. It's yes. Very, very eye catching. See. Which is which is a positive, <laughs> but. Um. I don't see any game components. I don't see any pieces. I don't see what it looks like set up to play. Um, 
I know it does have a contents barely you can barely see there's a contents list right here um, so you can't see what's in the box but I really don't see I don't get a feel for what this game is okay um, it has the <laughs> block text at the top which I despise um, it's your favorite settlers from three Nordic empires have decided to start their voyages and set sail oh, oh, but it does have all the little clans that come in the box which is kind of cool so what we were talking them. about cute. all They're the different clans cute. Um, it tells you the, 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 it shows the little wheel, the action selection thing I was talking about here, the different actions you can take. But really, I don't have any feel for what is going on with this game, unfortunately. But did you really with Imp uh, Imperial Settlers either? I don't know. I don't remember the back, what the back box was like. I think it was pretty similar. It does have a number of players. It does show you that solo, which is good. Mm -hmm. um, it tells you it's 45, 90 minutes. That's all good. But yeah, uh, I give it a C+. Plus. Huh. C plus. I think you're being a little harsh. C plus. A lot of good pictures. C plus. <laughs> so, so everyone's waiting for the cat to trigger the cop lights or hit the buttons or something. It's gonna happen. He, he, <laughs> there's a dangly bit that is on one of the the boom the arm the overhead arm that I'm gonna have to cut off because he is obsessed with that. That's what he was trying to get. <laughs> so there you go. Empires of the North. It's a good one. I enjoy it. Much more than Imperial Settlers, like I oh, said. Oh yeah, I more going on. Love this. No going back, honestly. More player friendly. Imperial Settlers got cold when this when we got this. Yep, is so, that it? It replaces or kills, as they say. C S E A plus. Oh brother! Oh, I didn't even mean to do that, but that's pretty good. Woo. I'll take credit for it. Oh hey, apparently the uh, transition music was really loud. Oh, was it? Yep. Oh so heads my. Up. Oh my, just a heads up for next time. Hmm. There is a dangling partic participle on the boom. Yeah, there's really a little, really there's a little odd. useless, there's like a little yeah, tool that you use to tighten bits. with <laughs> that I never use that is going to get cut off because that he, it is the perfect cat to wait is, is dangling down. obsessed with that. All He's right. already tilted the camera, so thankfully we're not doing the over. What do you want to do, tonight? sweetie? Well, we'll do, uh, what am I doing? Do I get to pick something? Actually, we only got one thing left to do. Technical difficulties? No. Oh. I got one thing left to do. What's that? And that is. Uh oh. Uh oh. I apologize for the transition music because I if can't. It's loud. I can't adjust it without playing it. So, here we go. Oh yeah, baby, on the spot. All right. So give us uh, if you know top five. We do a top five, random top five. You give us categories that can be game related or not, not game related, and we make a quick top. And five. we do a top five for you. Five on the spot. I had to crack open my new my new little book. I finished my book last time we played. Did you? So yep. So now I got to do five. I on just use these crappy the old things. Spot. I enjoy having little fun. Top five TV sci-fi characters. <laughs> Hi, Kabuki. I like that. Ooh, sci-fi TV. You know what, Nick? You win. I like that. Man, you, why'd you do I'm, that? It's going to be hard. What? Does sci-fi include fantasy or is it sci-fi only? It's up to you. I'm going to say sci-fi fi, sci -fi only. Okay. All right. I'm going to do that. Hi, bye, KK. Ooh, Tommy's got a good one, too. Maybe we'll do two. <laughs> All right. Hi, bye, uh, KK. I like that. Um, here we go. Top okay, five. so top five... Science fiction characters. Okay, well, that's... That was easy. Um, this is really hard not to make all Star Trek. Nope. Can't do it. Only one, only one Star Trek character. I made Only one. one Star Trek character? What's wrong with you? I just said it. Oh, my gosh. Um, I'm really bad with names. There's one that I love, but I can't think of his name. See, that's you guys can help me with the name. <laughs> you can help me with the name when we get to it. Um, 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 um. Um, oh yeah, got it. I think that's his name. You guys are right, laughing so I do because I'm so dumb. I'm, I'm so slow. Five, four, three. Two, one, done. These are just right off the top of my head, so I'm probably oh missing. Oh my gosh, I'm you're probably, so I'm fast. probably missing a ton of them, but these, I just picked what hit my head. Um, Slap, flew out of my head first. Oh my gosh. Um, 
And I'll answer Tommy's question. Uh, he put top five things that new channel I'm excited about. Uh, I'm excited about the new camera. So hopefully it's the, it's better stuff. So I'm excited about the new camera. Oh. I'm excited about the green screen. Hey, I remember it's gonna be his fun. name. But I, I'm excited about doing wrong. reviews because I have some ideas on how I want to do it. it I want to do something a little different that I haven't seen people do before. But we'll see if it works or not. I'm excited about um, live plays. Just random on the spot live plays. That's going to be fun. Uh, at four. That's four. Um, oh, I can't think of his number name. number five? I can't think of his name. Number five. What am I excited about? The girls are playing games again. I don't know if that counts. Yeah, often. Uh, heck yeah, that's exciting. Yeah, so, there you go. It's kind of not really channel. Uh, Nessa, Nessa's might almost offering to start doing uh, filming and stuff. Yeah. She doesn't want to be in the main picture, so she's off to the side kind of playing. So... Katie said she's interested in doing some live plays with us too. So, yeah. So, there you go. There's stuff I'm excited yeah, about. We're excited about that for you sure. You got your list? Yes, I do. I, I'm pretty sure our number one's going to be the same. All right, I'm going to start Katie. off with number five. You guys, I got to help me. You got to help me um, Help me remember the name. It's the little silver robot in Buck Rogers that goes bitty, 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 bitty. <laughs> it, it's, uh, is it Tootie? 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 What's his name of that? What's the name of it? He goes bitty, 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 bitty. He r walks around and. And it has the little carries the little computerized guy. I'm so on his bad chest. with names. What's um, his name? Someone's gonna know the name of that guy. That I love that guy. I love I love the Buck, Buck Rogers series <laughs> when I was a kid. It's dating me, but I love the yeah, Buck Rogers. Yeah. Um, Come on, someone someone knows the name of that little robot, the little silver robot. Tweaky, yeah it is. Boom, <laughs> Tweaky. That's it. I don't know why tweaky. I thought Tootie. I got it. That's. I love that little silver tweaky. little robot. How's that spelled? Twe with it. Oh, okay, Tweaky. That's funny. Okay. Man, I just realized, like, I have... Oh, this is funny. You're I watched right. every episode of Buck Rogers oh, probably six. 20 times when I was a kid. That's I just love For whatever that. reason, I know that show was very hokey and Make dumb, but I love that show. There's nothing wrong with that. I love that hokey show Hokey and dumb is kid. greatness. And uh, there's a lot of great sci-fi that starts out that way because the whole budget you like my, you like my tweaky imitation? I think that was pretty good. I, I thought that was pretty good, too. You've yeah. you ever seen the, the robot? It's been so long, I couldn't... I, I'm like... Memory is like... Bleh. All right, go for it. What's your number okay. five? My number five, I like the, the I think his name's Robbie the Robot from the, um, um, I told you I'm terrible with the name, the plan, um, Forbidden Planet. Forbidden Planet, Robbie. He's the big mechanical robot. That they has ended a lady up using, arms? No. Yeah, but he, no, no, he's also, they, they have something very, very, very strangely sim similar in Lost in Space. Um, that's like danger, danger, Will Robinson. That's, that's, yeah. But he, he, in Forbidden Planet, he also is like, like, like the waiter and the butler and everything else for the, the head dude that lived on that planet. Um, I liked that robot. I thought he was really cool. And back, you know, when I was a kid and stuff, his, when he was calculating, made all that clicky noises and stuff. And it, he, he had kind of like laser things and zap stuff. It was just really cool. I loved that robot. Hmm. So. All right. My number four, um, is Starbucks, yep. not the Starbucks from the Zero new stars. series, Starbucks from the original series. I like coffee. Oh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I just like that character because he was very, uh, he was ridiculous, nonchalant and goofy and always breaking the rules and was just silly. And he, every episode ended with him like with his little cigar smiling and laughing at everybody. <laughs> I, I, my, my little uh, competitive uh, self, young self loved that character. So, Starbucks. The new, the new series, Starbucks, she's fine, too, as well. So Yeah, uh, she's pretty good. But it's not it's quite different, the same. Di different attitude. Yeah. Not the, quite the same. A little same, more serious. Not the, quite the same uh, yeah. uh, attitude. But, yeah, the original Starbucks. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Zaris and Nick have got it. Yeah, it was the same robot. That's why I said he was very mysteriously similar. But, yeah, oh, that's right. They didn't really call him anything in Lost in Space. But he was definitely Robbie. In Forbidden Planet, then I, I knew the, one or the other. I thought the star that Sarah asked about, like the Star Trek, the eighty, the movie. I thought it was fine. I, th I thought it was cool. They made mm -hmm. it to Earth. That was interesting. So that is cool. I love Baltar. Yeah, that's probably one of the. I, I didn't put any bad guys on my spoiler. I didn't put any bad guys on my list, but I, I, Baltar I is one of my. Actually. Baltar is my favorite bad guys from. Although from Vader, sci -fi. Vader was on my short list. I'll be honest, Vader. Nah, was on my Baltar short list, is better than Vader. I yeah, probably. All right, so my number four is more on the bookish end of it than the movies. Although, I think the movie was okay, but um, the books are amazing. And I like Ender from Ender's Game. Um, he's just cool. And the stuff he ends up doing, I mean, if you've seen the movie, you get the gist of it. The book's always better, though. And that whole series I thought was really good. I really liked um, 
the stuff he ends up doing. He ends up being a speaker for the dead and all this kind of cool stuff. It's a real, he has like this <laughs> really cool, like almost like two lifetimes in one kind of thing. He does so many different things. And I just thought that character was really I didn't even really think neat. about books at all. That's what kind of threw me off because I stalled I out. I was movies like, and TV shows. I didn't even think about books. That's a whole other world. I know, and that's why I stalled out because I, I was like, even, I didn't even, I'm lucky I didn't think about books. I would have been thinking much longer. <laughs> yeah, but I did. I thought Ender was an interesting character because he had so much depth. I mean, he ended up changing so much and then changing, you know, and growing as a character. I thought that was pretty cool. All right, my number three. When I was a kid, I used to watch all the, what are they called? Kaiju? What are those guys called? Kaiju? The big. Godzilla and all mm -hmm, those guys. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, my favorite of all of them was King Kong. I love King oh Kong. Oh my god! Because the it seemed like Dora. every it seemed like every single of one of the the big guys had superpowers. They had like lightning bolts or, or uh, like sonic waves yep. or, or fire or explosion. King Kong, he just jumped in and just beat you up. <laughs> he was a pugilist. He was a pugilist. <laughs> you know what? That last, was it the last King Kong movie? I thought it was pretty sweet where he was just ginormous. He's living in that jungle and the way he just smacked the helicopters and stuff. I thought that was really cool. I thought they so I like King Kong because he's just like, he's, fun. Just, he's just a big That was pretty fun. Brute. So yeah. King Kong, my favorite. Yeah, the new version. Of, yeah. Anyway, go ahead. No, that's a good one. I was agreeing with you. I like that one. All right. Did you like the old school movies of him too? Oh, I like love the, the claymation ones, ones the like, back yeah, in the day. Yeah, oh, yeah. I love the claymation okay. ones. I thought they were great. Good times, good times. All right, my number three will probably crack y'all up. Um, it's a funny character, and I can't think of his name, but he's the depressed robot in Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the book, he's even funnier, but they did a pretty good job of making him ridiculous in the movies. I'm just going to die. He's like, just kill me now. You know, <laughs> just, he was so stinking funny. I don't know why I was like on a robot kick, because um, BB-8 was on my short list. <laughs> Spoilers. But yeah, um... He just cracked me up because everywhere they went, no matter what was going on, he'd tag along. He was like the Eeyore, but he was a robot. Right, and right. Just... He was very much modeled after Eeyore, I'm pretty oh, sure. Oh, he's ridiculous. I absolutely love that. It's funny they're talking so, about the Mandalorian because my number two... Oh my gosh, I totally, is totally forgot the about the Mandalorian. Mando? Is my number two. Most people would say Baby Yoda. Baby Yoda's cool and funny, but Mandalorian is just such is, a rich character. He is awesome. It's just I such a rich guy. character. He's got so many... Someone spent a lot of time thinking about that character and all its flaws and all its pet peeves and all his dislikes. Well, that actor is amazing, too. It's just a, well, it's one of, probably one of the most well-developed TV show characters, in my opinion. I'm, that actor blew me away, too, because you could see and feel his expressions and his attitudes. And the man was wearing a covering, like a full right. helmet 99% of the time. Right. That just blows my mind. He is amazing. Um... So yeah, that's good stuff. Good stuff. So my number two is probably on your list. If it's not, I'll tease you about it. But Paul I always Atreides from um, yeah the 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 Dune stuff. Don't like him. Nope. I thought he was a cool character. I like I like, uh, I enjoyed... I like Duncan is a better character uh, than me. Okay, I get that. Duncan's. Pretty I didn't think awesome. about him. I would have. Duncan's Duncan really would cool too. I love Duncan. He's he's not very well developed in the movies, but in the books he's he uh, is really he's cool. Really, he's like a super loyal friend that will do anything for and you. And he really does go through all sorts of crap right. in the books. And no, that's good. That's a really good pick. And um, yeah, I liked Paul too. I thought he was an interesting character. Just how he adapted and he really was like meant to be on that planet and this and that. I thought that was cool. Now, to be fair, I have only read the one Dune book, the, the original. I've not read the rest of the series. So if it goes off the rails and jumps the shark or anything, I don't know. I'm going to remain it does ignorant. Go off the rails. I'm going to remain it does happily jump ignorant. The shark. I'm going to stay ignorant. Spoilers, with my Duncan happy... gets cloned after he died. And what? what? No, no, no. La, la, Spoilers. la, la, la. Okay. It's been, been probably 20, 30 years. Okay, that so would probably change. Than my answer. But my number one and Rebecca's number one is Spock. Spock. <laughs> no, no doubt. No doubts. No doubt. No doubts. Awesome I, character. Just the the whole dual life that he lives and his just the challenges he goes yep. through and blah blah blah, et cetera, et cetera. Amazing character. I just realized, another well developed, well thought out character. I, I thought of one as we were doing this that should be in the top five too are the characters from Firefly, like Jane. I think oh, he, Jane. Jane would probably be in one. my top five. That's another one. I really... That's th another good one. I really like Jane. He's my, he's my favorite character on the show. Gosh. Um, yeah, I, yeah, Jane's 
stinking hilarious. There you go, five on the spot. Ooh, that's more like 20 on the spot. You guys have, oh man, sci-fi's so rich. And you know what, if I made this fiction. list again, I'd come up with five different ones. So. It jumps the sandworm. <laughs> All right. It does. That was good. Yeah, you're right. You could totally come up with five completely different things and they'd still be really good and really valid Correct. list on that. So what about you guys? What do you... What are your characters? I think you. some of you were throwing them. <gasps> Number five from Short Circuit. Meh. Yeah. Meh. I love Johnny Five. She loves Short Circuit. It's one of her favorite it's movies. It's cute. It's not one of my favorite yeah, movies, it but is. it's cute. We talk about it all the time. When? I don't know. What? Just making stuff now up. Now you're just making stuff up. <laughs> Weirdo. I don't like Doctor Who. You can shoot me and kill me, but man, that, that I've tried three separate times to watch <laughs> Doctor Who, and it just doesn't move fast enough for me. It's just, maybe it's my short attention span or I don't know but it just it's too slow for me that's, and maybe that's how just how all the series seasons start out but uh it's just I watched the original series the first two or three episodes and I watched kind of the, the the one that everyone likes I can't remember his name I've watched two or three episodes of that and then I watched the most recent series oh, about two or three years ago and I watched two or three episodes and I just I can't get into it for whatever reason it I don't is know. funny um I um like a lot of British shows and for some reason I couldn't get and I mean I even liked Red Dwarf and stuff like I that like but British I couldn't humor, get but... I like the British humor but for some reason I could not get into the Doctor as much either yeah. I don't know I, I think like you said yeah like growing up with it or something like that might have yeah, been yeah I, did, I didn't I, I, like I said I've never seen it until probably six years ago when I started did, did gotcha. I did my test runs yep. of it to see, that, see if I could get I mean, into it it's, it's hugely popular and because I was just cranking through great sci-fi characters. series and I was like okay what next and I, uh, Doctor Who I've got like 30 seasons I don't know how many seasons it has but I'm like if I get into that man I'm set for a while I just couldn't do it Kit from Knight Rider that was one of my favorite shows when I was a kid is that sci-fi yes Is that sci-fi? it had a car that Nowadays, probably would just That's have sci-fi. our regular stuff. Computer Maybe at the it. time it was sci-fi. But it was definitely t- at the time sci-fi. I loved Kit. My parents even went into like, well, the boys section and got me Knight Rider pajamas when I was a kid because I loved Knight Rider. I totally, I wanted to be that person that actually had Kit. I thought Kit was so cool. Kit was amazing. All right, see what I got left in my list here. Um, oh, your doctor's Peter Davidson. See, everybody's got like their favorite actor for the doctor and stuff, and I love that. I love that the fandom is so big on the actors and stuff. I think that's so cool. Actors and actresses. All right, so I'm gonna take a little section here because we've been we got we've got all these little uh, mini um, segments that we do. So Rebecca's Ooh. review, my little mm-hmm. weird ranking thing. We do new games, new plays, on the spot, back of the box, live plays, and Rebecca's first impressions. I'm thinking about adding. Just like a little mini Kickstarter thing. Well, Lord knows that they should be paying you to promote it because you're like triple platinum gold star Kickstarter person, aren't you? So I'm considering adding <laughs> a Kickstarter thing. And if it's it's just... Call it Hunter's Addiction? Possibly. I don't. I haven't figured out what I want to do the with it. So program. if you want in the chat or down in the comments, let me know what you want. What would you like to see? Do you want to see stuff I've backed? Like kind of a backward view of things that I've backed and kind of talk about them. Talk about just only as I back things, talk about them then. Or do you want me to talk about just the big two or the two or three of the big ones that are on Kickstarter, whether I back them or not? I'm thinking about adding that in. And then Rebecca can just react to whatever it is. Yeah, just don't tell me the price or you'll see some very different reactions. So there's three different choices really. Uh, Stuff I backed previously or recently. Uh, I mean, stuff that I backed previously if I didn't back anything within the two weeks between the shows. Or stuff that is new, but I may or may not have backed. and then Or just t- jump in when I back something and talk about that I backed it and why. So, think about adding that to, Ooh, the, to the rotation. So, there you go. I just saw the thing about Stargate, and that's one of my favorite sci-fi movies. I like, the, I like it, but none of the characters stand out for me. Oh my gosh, I love those. Uh, uh, the little, the little nerdy linguist guy. Of course, I love the. So, of course, I like the guy that likes the languages. So I'm writing. I can't think of his name though. Writing, my brain is dead. Chat stuff down. Chat stuff down. Yeah, sorry, I'm distracted by shiny things. They're all talking about stuff. Hunter's addiction. <laughs> so pick number three. As I back things, I like that. I may just mix it up. As I back things. Does that seem to be the consensus? Kick hunting. 
That's not a bad idea. Pig hunting. I like that. That's cute, Hawk Skull. I like that. All right, so I'm thinking about adding that to the rotation because everyone loves their <laughs> Kickstarters. And, and it's becoming... An addiction? Not necessarily an addiction. No, it's it's becoming a... a Almost a, I, I would almost way say mainstream life. way of getting games. A mainstream way of getting I games. I think especially in the last year, people have found that that's a decent, like, workaround to, to cons and stuff like that, right? Because we haven't been able to do conventions and stuff, so it's like, spend that money on a Kickstarter game yeah, or something, true. you know, right? I mean... So. Well, we haven't been traveling. That's why I upgraded a lot of our stuff because we just haven't been spending money on travel. So. That's right. He's like, I must spend the monies. So. All right. So we're, <laughs> we're heading into the wrap up moment, part of the show. And so next week, one week from tonight, um, we're doing the, the <laughs> choice that got the second most votes on our last top 10 poll. So we do these periodically. I put a list of top 10s out on our Board Game Geek Guild and have people vote on it. This was the second place from the last poll. And that is... A repeat of a, of a list we did like four years ago, I want to say. Ooh. It is Big Games, Small Package. Oh, interesting. I like Big that. Games, Small Package. And that can t- me a, a couple of different things. It can mean it's sprawling. It's like, yeah. it, like it comes in a little box, but it takes up a lot of the table. Or it's a really heavy game. It packs a lot of punch. Right. For a little small box game. Gotcha. So. Big game, small package. I haven't decided okay. what our limit is going to be for size, but it's probably going to be... The, oh, you're setting it. Yeah. Okay. S- small small box game. Okay. So smaller than the coffin size box. So smaller than... Smaller than this size box. So smaller than this. Ooh. This, is, this is kind of the smallest of the big, what I consider a regular size, size box. Size box, yeah. I agree. So... Coralou has a good point, too. Um, you also need to do a follow-up when you do your Kickstarter games. Like, after they arrive, tell us if they fulfilled your expectations, were disappointing, blah, blah, blah. Well, that's not a bad idea. So, we have, like, a before, during, and after kind of thing, maybe? Yeah. Set so, up a... Yeah, so... Because we could do an unboxing when it arrives. Talk about what you ordered before, what you've seen, what the preview looks like. Uh, smaller than a bread box. Oh, Tommy, no. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> kind of. Um, but, yeah, like a... a How big is a bread box? Fun. Well, it depends. <laughs> If you get the really cool bread box, you can fit a couple loaves of bread in it, right? Or the traditional bread box, you're supposed to only throw one loaf of bread in. Am I right? I think I'm right. It's been... We don't really have a bread box. We probably should. So, um... Yeah. So next time, small... Big game, small box. So, everybody's dying to see the room. Or at least Tommy is, because he's whining about it. Um, we will... Are we going to do that now? I thought you said you were going to do it. Um, you said the you were lighting is horrid. So? Who cares? You guys want to see, kind of see the room? Uh, you we get, can turn on the overhead. That'll help. It'll kill. The sound will be dead. While I don't know how I can do it with sound is the problem. I'm not prepared. I thought, but you said that you were going to do that today. No, did I? Yeah, you did. Did I? Yeah, you did. Uh, I can't do sound is the problem because the sound <laughs> is attached to the camera. So if I take the camera and move it around. Can't you move the sound with it? Why can't you move the sound with it? Because I, the camera's plugged in. Doesn't it have a battery? No. It plugs in. Ah. So what if you keep it on the stand and just turn the camera around? It's, it's kind of stuck where it is. Is it, though? Yeah. Do you guys want motion sickness and see, and see, uh, <laughs> and see what the, the room looks like? <laughs> I'll show off the room if you want. Do it, do it, do it. You've been you've been teasing this like for two I episodes. To do, I wanted to do a real video of it. Though. But we'll do a real video. But you've been saying you're going to show All right, it for I'll give two you episodes a, I'll now. I'll give you a quick look of the room, and uh, you're going to have to wait, Lady Barkins. What is we it may lose press? sound. We may break things. <laughs> It'll be exciting. But at least you'll get to see it, and then we'll come back and we'll talk to you about it. All right. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. Do, 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 oh, do. Wrong way. So I'm going to okay. zoom out. I'm going to let the dog out because she's having a hissy. All right. So the, the wall of games has grown. Um, or has it? So I can go up a little bit. So there's the wall of games. So it's it's eight by six calyx with a ton of junk up top. So there's the wall of games. It's eight by eight. Eight by six. Oh, 
I went the wrong direction. So there's the wall of games. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to rotate. <laughs> so if you get motion sickness, um, look away. <laughs> I can't rotate it, so I'm gonna rotate the camera. We're gonna go past the pole, which is gonna look weird. New tagline: Family Showdown makes you sick. <laughs> so over here is our kind of our family games. Yes, we did move into our living room. We swapped rooms. That's what the big thing so, is. So this is the family games and the shelf at the top is going to be knickknacks they're in a box at the we're bottom. still working it yeah we're still this is still in progress so there's the family family games kind of shelf and then i'm gonna rotate a little bit more so see you've got this over here you've got this this is a bag but down here at the bottom that's our our way kick and our class game i don't know if it's focusing uh Trying it's to... focusing on the bag oh but you guys get oh now you can kind of see it though at least I mean, I got wires hanging. Yeah. There you go. Now you can see the way kick da, 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 and the class. And then we're going to rotate some more. This part isn't <laughs> lit, so it's going to be dark past the bag holding the camera. So this is the kind of the <laughs> heavy game shelf, I guess. So you got, um, you got Lacerda games and other games and more games and stuff and games over here. And all <laughs> Rebecca Star Trek stuff up very top. Not all of it, but a good chunk. <laughs> and then we're going to rotate a little bit more. And I'm really <laughs> close to the shelf. So this is the shelf of shame with all my little duck guys. I like ducks. So the duck guys up top. This is our They're shelf. So cute. This is our shelf of shame games. That most of them are three player plus games that we haven't played yet. Sad. So, so there's sad. our shelf of shame. There you go. And our big die at the bottom, which made it, made it, made it into a couple of blender episodes. Then we'll rotate a little bit more. Oh, I got to go all the way around. Yep. Oh, this is going to make you guys sick. Sorry. I told you I wasn't prepared Technical for this. Difficulties. I told, you, okay. I wasn't, I told hey, you I wasn't prepared oh, for this. They're preview. They're excited. They wanted a preview. All right, hold this on. This is the, 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 the two I'm cent go, version. Be, we'll gonna, do the, the $5 version when everything's finished. All right, hold on. You're getting, <laughs> getting my mug in the picture. Sorry. Mug? My face. Oh. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Oh, sorry. I apologize. All right, so over here, <laughs> two more shelves. This is a weird angle. So two more shelves. These are kind of, again, our small box games are on this one shelf. And this is our kind of our, I don't know, <laughs> games that didn't find another spot. And then all the way the up. games. All the way up at the very, very top is all our trophies from <laughs> our <laughs> annual board game tournament. Yep. And, and Nick commented that we had the fireplace for easy, easy game disposal after culling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that's it. That's it. Yep, that's the game room, peeps. That's I mean, if you go any further, you're looking at our kitchen and our dining room. Yeah, it's so. kind of open house all right, layout. So, but. so uh, apologize. i got to swing it all the way back again. Actually, considering the... Uh, um, How are you getting? You are going to get a look at our kitchen and dining room. There it is. Look, kitchen oh, yeah, and dining room. You can see that everything's still a work in progress and a mess. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> again, we'll do it. Yes, it is a wood duck. We will be doing um, a cool, maybe even a pre-recorded... Thing. Yeah, it was. Yeah, um, we'll do it. We'll so, do it. like, when it's all finished, like we haven't finished the knickknack stuff and cleaned up little things here and there, as you can see. But the gist of it is, we did swap rooms. Um, this was originally our living room, but now that the girls don't spread toys oops, all over oops, the sorry, floor, sorry, I took the focus. <laughs> it's all good. Once they, um, the girls kind of stopped doing that, we were like, we've got space, and we realized this was kind of crammed in our game room. And we couldn't walk her all the way around the table. We actually kind of... I don't know if that helped well. her. You could so see what was is, going on, but there you go. Yeah. We're a little bit crooked, I think. Are we? Yeah. Oh, wow. Um, <laughs> way crooked. <laughs> but, but yeah, so we switched it. Hunter, Hunter just got like obsessed. He ma managed to do most of this himself over the course. Um, the girls helped us. Um, swapped it this weekend. Went pretty well. Hunter rocked it out. Um, the table moved surprisingly well. This table is way wider than it looks. Um, yeah, we actually had to turn it sideways to get it through our archway, which is crazy. <laughs> I'm falling. Sorry. Yeah, I feel like I hadn't had my V8. <laughs> All right, I'm not gonna mess with it anymore. Hopefully that's in focus. No, I think you're good, I think you're good. If not, it should focus, right? No, I took autofocus off. Oh, you did? It goes crazy when you have autofocus on. <laughs> That's why Smokey was all blurred out when he walked up. Oh, gosh. That's hilarious. All right. A jaunty angle. I like that. Jaunty. It's so, I don't know. But, yeah. So, now you get an idea. Um, we're really excited about it. It really opened up the room. It actually made our living room cozier, but in a good way. Not. It's not smaller. It's just more organized. 
it was really nice. So this has been like a really plus, big plus all the way around, except now that we have to do the little detail stuff. It was in focus, but now you're not. <laughs> oh yeah, we're slightly out of focus, right? <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> you guys asked for this nonsense. So. <laughs> I like, our, I like our mics. Follow us now. That's yeah, that's, that is handy. Like, I can walk now, around and now you're not going to be like saying you disappeared from the sound. And this all right, you got to look at that and see, tell me when it's in focus because I got a little tiny screen. Looks good to me. At least on the screen there, it looks good. Okay. Looks good to me. What do you guys think? <laughs> Hopefully that's better. Oh, yeah, that looks much better. Okay, good, because I was like, it looks good to me. I... Looks much better. I don't know. All right, so, yeah. there you go. So we're excited about the new new space because we can actually... Can, what I just did would have been impossible in Absolutely in impossible. our old space because well, and we no couldn't room. fit We couldn't fit like this either because it was just too tight. So this is fun. So there you go. There That's you the go. game room. There you go. We're almost done with it. Almost done. And then we got to repair the rest of the house that we destroyed. <laughs> In the process. Yeah, the kitchen and the dining room are a little bit destroyed because it's like the, the holding station. For yeah, because everything room. that was in here got moved yeah. out. Oh. I mean, our living room is set up, but we got all our pictures, family. This used to have all our family pictures on the wall. And so now like they got to go in there. Yeah. Now all the and wall all space the is covered in here. all the pictures have to come in here. So when can we all come over? Well, let's see. We're going to be vaccinated. <laughs> <laughs> We're working on that. We're working on that. I got <laughs> December. I think not December. No, May. First week in May, I think we'll both be fully vaccinated yes because you're fact, the last fact, I, I got my what do they call it your fauci ouchie today is that what they're calling it my fauci ouchie so dumb today. oh my gosh got it today that's kind of why i'm stretching if you see i've been stretching my <laughs> your arm. arms hurting <laughs> so <laughs> zaris you got your first shot today too Woo! So. yeah so yeah it's excited i'm excited to actually start doing some some normal things maybe try a three-player game gasp yeah, I mean, like I said, our self shame is almost exclusively three player game, three plus player games. Yeah. So. Oh man. So. <laughs> shot brothers, <laughs> you and Zaris are shot brothers. He's had a shot today too. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's interesting that where we're at, they're, they're actually using the uh, Texas Motor Speedway, a uh, giant racetrack. They're using the parking lot of it to queue people up, and you just drive up and and go through queue uh, like. Uh, different stages like they go and check your id and then they have you fill out a form and then you get a shot and then you park for 15 minutes and there was just when i was there the 30 minutes i was there i bet three or four hundred people got shots that's amazing just in the 30 minutes that's I was amazing there. it was just they were just cranking them out man that's exciting um Oh, that's a good question, Corlew. How finished of a product does the context? All we all we really want, honestly, is if you look on our YouTube channel, uh, the, the the little circle that's on the YouTube. We have a family picture, and like Nessa's like two years old in that picture. Um, if you look on our YouTube channel, there's that that picture. Um, that's our quote logo for YouTube. We want something that will, will fit in that space. As well as we want to be able to like make T-shirts and stuff, right? So just take that same logo and just transfer it to a T-shirt, um, and whatever you know what they do the where you go and you get mugs and things and, and buy all kinds of weird stuff. Cause... Yeah, yeah. So as finished as you possibly can. Um, we're not of the artistic bend to where we could finesse much. Yeah. So if you require assistance, probably want to ask the, somebody I mean, else we're, first, we're not looking for anything is. that's like crazy high tech super fancy we just no, want, we want no. something beyond our family picture and something that has basically the name of the channel so that if someone sees a shirt they'll oh the family showdown they won't just see if we, if we show a family picture it's like we have a shirt with our family picture on it i mean okay. literally if we took our logo now and put it, it on just a shirt family it just, photo it just look like a family dirty. photo right so something that's recognizable something that we can use when you know at the start of our video something Something that you could put as a watermark down, down over here or something <laughs> on our videos, that sort of thing. Just something. Just imagine that little circle, and that's kind of your canvas. It's something right? kind of an eye eye catcher kind of thing. Um, Tommy, I haven't seen your entry, but um, I haven't looked at the entries since the very first evening. Um, I've seen new trolls entries, but I, Tom, I was Tom, like super excited. I liked so. your Tommy. I liked your your entry. So yeah, it was, yeah, it was like good. I'm stoked. I can't I mean, that's wait the sort to of thing. I, I mean, I won't show it because uh, that'd be cheating. Yes, that'd cheating be cheating. Or cheat or but uh, <laughs> just, like I said, just imagine that little circle 
of um, I don't even know if I can pull it up. But yeah, yeah, simple in an icon sort of thing. Yeah, correct. Exactly. Correct. exactly. Something that's recognizable. Absolutely. And, and identifiable that you can either have the family showdown name or some something that has, yeah, anyway. Yeah, I'm excited to see all and of And in this. fact, everyone's talking about it. I'll just pop up the, the email one oh, more yeah. time. Up yes, since, because since that's what we're the talking more the about. merrier on the entries. We'll love it. So that's where you send your submission. And again, $100 prize of some kind. We'll work it out with you what's best. If you're in the U.S., we can do almost anything. But if you're in Australia or New Zealand or mm -hmm. Europe, then I may do Amazon Germany or Amazon whatever. Mm -hmm. Because we don't want to just send like cash because it, the... At least my bank, I don't know if your bank does it, but anytime I do a foreign transaction, it take like 10% or some oh, yeah, crazy like, percentage of insane. fees out of the, the transaction. So we're going to spare so you that. Basically, that $80, $100 would turn into like $80. Yeah, we want to make sure you actually get yeah. that $100. Correct. So, so that's the goal. It, it seems like, because you did, when you had someone buy something for you in Japan, you sent them mm -hmm. just an Amazon Japan gift yeah, card. Yeah, Julian and I, yeah, that's what that's what I did. Yeah, so. And it worked out well. It worked out well. And then you, you kind of, we would eat a little, the fees on our side, but you wouldn't eat fees yeah, on, on your side. Yeah, that's how it should be. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, previous question, how long after you ordered Leaving Earth did you receive it? Leaving Earth, oh. Fairly quickly, but the thing is that Leaving Earth is a, if you don't know anything about it, it's basically self-published. Literally, they make it themselves. They publish it themselves. Um, so they only do occasion. When I got it, I was at the tail end of a print run. I don't even know if they're printing it right now. Oh. Um, but I got mine fairly quickly because they were they were printing them at the time. But okay. they do it in batches. They'll do uh, some print runs and then they won't do any for a long time. And they'll do some more. I guess they do it when they have time because, like I said, I think it's a family uh, self publishing. Oh, that's cool. Type thing. So okay. it's not like they a company that cranks them out continuously they do it in bunches and yeah in batches like you said so that I, makes sense so i just someone someone let me know i don't remember who, i don't remember who let me know that they were doing a print run and i just jumped on it and grabbed everything um but now that i think about it might contact them and ask. no what what happened was the the um now that I'm, i don't know why i thought that i purchased it that way Actually, what happened is the, the, the person uh, that prints them donated it to an auction. I think it was a BGG charity auction. Oh, was and that I what wanted, it was? I wanted a charity auction. But it, at the time, they were being printed. So that's I, that's how I happened to get it. It wasn't someone's copy or anything like that. I got the all the Leaving Earth, and I got the space. Yeah, you have uh, whatever outer that, planets and stations? Yeah, and then there's the space uh, game I got with it as well. Oh, okay. It was all of a bundle that came okay. together. But yeah, um, I would probably email them in that case and just ask. Yeah, I would just reach out to the company. I can't is. think of the name, whatever the company is. Like I said, they're self-published, so I don't know. Their print runs are very sporadic, and I don't know if they're printing it anymore. You might try you order it. I would think you so, might but. try uh, the Board Game Geek Marketplace and see if anyone's selling it that way. Um, so. Yep. That? Well, he said he ordered it already. So if they ordered it, it sounds like they're planning on doing a yeah. run. I would just check it. Might be it, maybe it's in the Suez Canal still in line, just waiting to get. No, I think now. it's just going to take a while because, like <laughs> I said, it's self. I'm pretty sure Published? they they publish it themselves. Okay. They they actually they actually literally put the game together and make it and mail That's it so themselves. Cool. So That's cool. I don't think there's a publishing company that publishes that hmm. game. That's a good question. That's Anything cool. else? I don't know. Do you guys have any other questions or? Issues, ideas, stuff, things. Vote, vote on the, the review. Yeah. You have one more day. You have a basically 20, 26 and a half hours left to vote for the, our for very, very, very first review. And we're looking forward to it. I think it's going to be Arnak, um, Lost Ruins. Lost it's Ruins. really looking like it, huh? Lost Ruins I of Arnak. Um, we've, we're going to play that one more time this weekend and uh, probably review it. If it, if it wins, obviously. Um, we're probably going to do another test run of the play test, I mean, the uh, playthroughs. So yes. we're going to do a live playthrough probably this weekend sometime just to test the equipment. Maybe Friday night or Saturday. Yeah. Because Sunday's Easter, so probably not Sunday. Yes. Well, who knows? Maybe not. Some, probably sometime <laughs> this weekend. Probably not, though. I don't even have it completely set up. The boom arm is off. Well, Smokey knocked it off around. Off at an angle it's and the crazy. cameras tilted. cameras like tilted. And, <laughs> and I haven't set it up, but the, the goal would be we're going to be setting like we're setting... But the game here exactly. and the camera is going to be pointed down this way. Yeah. So kind of like we were doing before, but in the new room now. But so we're we going to tweak it a we're little. We're probably going to put the board facing you guys, 
And then, um, actually, I could flip the camera. Yeah, you could. I wonder if I could flip, flip the table. Flip the flip camera. The table. No. Anyway, <laughs> so it's going to be in this area, the play area, and we're going to be sitting side by side. Which I don't know. I can't remember. The only time we've ever played games side by side is in the is it when we're in a big game. Is group? in a in a conference. I mean a convention. Convention yeah. usually. Yeah, this will be interesting. I'll probably kick him a few times. <laughs> Technical difficulties. I'll be. Push that button. <laughs> All right. Nah, I we're think that's good. it, folks. We're good. I'm we're, excited. We are going to get out of here. It's so cool. Thanks for we'll joining us. We'll see you one week. Yes. For the top 10 big game, small box. Yes. And live plays, possibly. Yeah. So, again, click the bell. Ring the bell. Because we're not. going to have only a 30 minute warning before we go live on live plays. Because yep. that's just the way it's going yep. to The way it's going to work. Yep. Because we don't know when we're going to do them. We find, when we find time. Yep. We're out of here. Have a Thanks. great Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. Click subscribe to join our wonderful viewer community. Want to be notified when we upload a new video or go live? Click on the little bell below.